Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing Austin FC 1, Toronto FC 0, and MLS 2023 week 14. Three weeks away from halfway and I got one thing to say. Bob Bradley Vafan Kulo! Vafan Kulo! That's all I got to say. Halftime it was nil nil. We were outshot 7 nothing at a half. I can't believe we were still tied. No chances forward for TFC. Defends pretty well. Some lucky situations. There were no shots on goal for Austin, but Sean Johnson actually played pretty well tonight, all things considered. Nil-nil at the half. But we also had a draw throughout 99% of the game. I said 99% because... Jossie Zardes scores in the 90 plus first minute. 1-0 Austin. Ball played in. Ball headed off the crossbar. Falls to Jossie Zardes. He nods it in to make it 1-0. And that move was even crazier than that. That was some Benny Hill, Yakety Sacks type stuff. I couldn't tell you all the whole thing. I just said, hey, got played in off the crossbar. Zardes heads it in. That's about it. That was a melange of errors. That play was a melange of errors. 1-0 Austin. That's the way it would end. We probably deserve that. Arguably, yes, we deserve that. One point this week out of six. And I thought we would get four. We should have got six. Not because of the way we played, but going into it, we were playing two horrible teams. Dreadful game of football against Red Bulls. We allow a goal late against Austin. Tobias timed once again. We play a dreadful game of football. We take out Bernadeschi at the 60th minute, asking for a draw. Guess what? We lose! Kobe Franklin was our best player. He was down and back like he was go-go gadget grease lightning. You know? Kobe Franklin looked good. I feel sorry for him. He looked good. Kobe Franklin's played well. If we lose Richie, even though four stayed up, I'm good with Kobe Franklin being the next guy in line. I'm fine with it. I have no problem with that. But stats are as follows. Then I'll rant. I don't know how long it'll be, and I don't know how all-encompassing it'll be. I ain't got much to say about this match. It sucked. Stats are as follows. 15 shots to three, two shots on goal to zero, 62% possession to 38% possession, 475 passes to 300, 84% pass accuracy to 70%, 14 fouls to 13, two offside to one, four yellows to three, zero reds to zero, 11 corners to two. Austin, they probably deserve to win. They got the three points they deserved. TFC, this is what you get for just trying to go for a draw and shithouse a draw, let alone a win. They didn't want to win. They did not look like it at all wanting to win. There was no want, no belief, no desire, not a damn thing. The subs were absolutely crap. No Insigne, which I don't know if that would have helped or hurt. Honestly, I have no idea because he's a bust. He's a bust at this point. Honestly, Richie playing on the wing wasn't too bad either. Kobe Franklin playing wasn't bad. Temi Antognalu was good in midfield. Cozy was better. Cervania got taken off at the half because of a BS yellow card, which I understand that. Bernadeschi again off at the 60th minute. Bob. Bob. Bacala. What are you doing? Pezzo de merda va fanculo. Pezzo de merda va fanculo. What are you doing? What are you doing? For Jordan Faria, and I'm not cutting on him. It was his senior debut. He's okay for TFC2. But, uh, hey, McFly, he's not better than Federico Bernadeschi, and we have nothing, and I mean nothing to play for on Tuesday. You see that cross? Nothing! Or Wednesday. So why take out Federico? He would be fine on Saturday. What? You're afraid of injury luck? You didn't care till now. Seems like you actually don't care, considering keeping Federico in might have saved your job. Or are you so sure you're not going to lose your damn job that you just took him out anyway? Did you get assured of something? Do you know something we don't? Because that is disrespectful. If you know something we don't, 
And that's why you took off Federico? You better freaking spill it right now. <laughs> There's nothing to play for on Wednesday. I said Tuesday. I was pissed off. Wednesday. Nothing to play for. You could have kept him in. You took him off one minute left on Wednesday this past week. You take him off at the 60th. He didn't have to come off. Oh, he almost played two full games. Okay. He didn't have to play Wednesday. He would have had a full week of rest. He's a professional. He can play three games in a week. He was our only hope. Besides Kobe Franklin, if you want him to go on a solo run, he almost did. Richie looked actually kind of quiet tonight. I hate to say it. He was actually kind of quiet tonight. Midfield, did you see that Mark Anthony K free kick because you took off Fetty? Dear Lord, that was horrible. And they have the gall to ask for a penalty. They have the gall to say, oh, but look at what happened to Hedges. He was off the ball. What, you want them to call freaking interference or something like that? The gall, the absolute gall to complain for a penalty. The absolute cheek to do that after freaking K just went and served up a soft serve shit ball. I can't call it anything else. The gall off the ball entirely. It wasn't even that harsh of a foul. That's not getting called. And then you complain about it? Go to VAR? You got what you deserved. Frankly, losing instead of winning 1-0, losing 1-0 is what you deserved. Frankly, this team is a joke. This team, why do we do this? The question is, is why do we do this? And I'm not saying the players. Why do we watch... 2026 is your plan to be great again. Yeah, probably that year, if not anything. I don't see no plan. I don't see no process. I just see bullshit. Yeah. I know I'm saying exactly what needs to be said when it comes down to it. But... Before the game, I have so much faith. So some people who say I need to take the red pill about this team, when I say I mean about this team, I have. I just am hopeful before the game is over. I don't want to be a doomer. Deep down, am I? Yes. But do I want to hope? Yes. I'm an eternal optimist. I'm eternal optimist. But at some point, why are we back to this folderall of I watch so you don't have to? Because that's where we are. Again, that's where we are. Were we supposed to be away from this? Were we supposed to be above bottom of the East at this point? I guarantee you we probably have less points now than we did at 14 games last year. I haven't counted. So that's a guess. But I'm sure that's probably a correct guess. What are we doing? Why is Bradley still here? Like, what is he doing? He's lost the locker room. He's lost everybody. And no, he still has the job. And then, and then, what this team should do is what AC Milan did and talk to the Ultras. At the very least. But no, you know... There's a situation where both sides look bad with a megaphone. Mark? He wasn't the innocent, as far as I've heard. No, you shouldn't throw a megaphone. I agree. But he's not the innocent. They both look bad. At least that's what I've heard. Maybe hearsay, I don't know. I'm hearing they both are at fault. 
the Ultras, and the dude who threw the megaphone, and Mark. But that's enough about that. I'm just saying. That's what I've heard. I may be wrong. Maybe. Again, you don't throw a megaphone. I'm not condoning the megaphone being thrown. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying neither person was innocent in the situation. They're both guilty. That's all I'm saying. With that being said, though, again, the players should talk to the ultras. Because I don't see the passion. I don't see the heart. I don't see the fight. And they are right to say, criticize your performance. That they're allowed to do. Everybody's allowed to do that. That they're allowed to do. They're not allowed to throw a megaphone at somebody, which again, I say you shouldn't do. Remember, I'm saying don't throw a megaphone. That was too far. But they should be able to criticize your performance. That's what we should do. But there's no heart in this team. There's no heart. There's no accountability. There's no belief. There's no care. Whether that's because Bradley lost the locker room and they want him out or they just don't give a shit. Either way, I can't tell you. Either way. I say get rid of Bradley and let's see how this plays out. We might still be shit. But cut your losses, at least have a chance. Instead of just keep on going until frickin' November. For no reason. That's the way I see it. Austin. The way you lost, really? We lost to Austin like that? I get Tobias Times a thing, but Jesus Christ. Go for a draw... You got owned, which maybe comparatively for Bob Bradley out reasons is a good thing. But, you know, I don't think we're going to get what we want. He won't be sacked in the morning or sacked on Monday. There's no way, right? There's no way. I think we've passed the point of no return. We've crossed the Rubicon. And I'm not sure why, but I hope I'm wrong. But I don't know if I am. Well, that being said, that's what I got to say. That's what I got to say. I think that's about as good enough as I could do. 13 minutes out of this with nothing really. Yeah, we'll go with it. If you like this video, like and share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification once subscribe. Send super chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. Put us in play. Share us friends and family. All that great stuff. I will see you tomorrow for a live watch along and a review of Club America versus Chivas, the second leg of their semifinal. I will see you tomorrow night for that. Hopefully we have more fun. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. See you later.